Well, hi everyone. Thank you for taking a minute to stick around. I'm going to be taking you through the month of February in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. And I'm going to just show you how I have used this planner, how I'm using the month of February, and also to share some creative tips along the way. So if you're interested in seeing the month of February in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, stick around. Alrighty. So what I did differently this month is I used the lined blank page that's always to the left of the new month divider as a timeline. First I just found the middle of the page. I drew a highlighter down the middle. On the left I wrote the days of the week and on the right I wrote the actual dates. Now there's not 30 or 31 lines so usually at the very top or at the very bottom I'll put two days close together and it works out fine. Now what I wanted to show you here is that uh, different events like the Super Bowl I wrote the lettering real big and then I just um, thickened up the downstroke on each of the letters. So you can see how I did it with snow. We had four inches, which is a big deal here in Georgia. And then uh, for birthdays, they're all the same. I just drew a lawn out from the day. I drew a rectangle. I used a highlighter to fill it in. I used the narrow side of the highlighter to do the right and the left side. Here I did the left and the right side. So that there's continuity between what are the birthdays. Now each one of these are different travels. And the blue was when our daughter was traveling, the gray was when mom and dad were traveling, and the green was when Jerry and I, and this is when Jerry taught a class. So again, there, the colors um, let me know who it's referring to and what's going on. And this is a very, it's a different way of looking at it than your monthly right here. And it kind of gives you a different view of it. I almost prefer this one better than this going across. All right, so then we move on to, this is usually blank. I make it my top memories of the month. So I always have the month written up here, memories across in there. And I'll print up the top three or four photos, some black and white, some with color. And here I use stickers from the Happy Planner sticker book that's specifically for bullet journaling. So it's black and white doodles, which really bring out um, some distinction on your planner pages. Over here on the right I have my currently here I use some Happy Planner stickers for the three areas and goals that I have for home, health, and hobby. I just put a quote here because I love bringing out the beautiful colors in this planner. Erin Condren just does such an incredible job with just bright colors in a planner for me. I just love it. I always use this for birthdays and then here I've picked three to four currently. Currently planning, watching, thinking, and snowing. <laughs> thinking and snowing. Thinking and seeing it's snowfall. It is so easy to trip over your words when you're doing these videos. God bless me. All right, so here is a monthly view. I kept it very simple. Again, I have my pre-trip so that I don't plan anything on that day. But here you can see I really fell short on that goal because I scheduled a haircut. Uh, and we had our future son-in-law for dinner, but that was just a fun evening. So I'm glad he was able to come by. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I have the post trip. And this is so that I don't schedule anything on the day after we come back for a trip so I can use that day more effectively just to get things done. This was very simple. I only had one color that I used. And, you know, a neat idea would be bring out this pink and draw a line with a highlighter underneath the travels. And it really does look real pretty if you've seen it in... <clears throat> other videos I've done. So here's something I tried. Not real happy with the different colors. I think I just would have alternate maybe between three colors, not used all these, but I just did the date and news that was happening at the time. Here I did like a newsreel and I just printed up images from my phone of what's been going on with the coronavirus. So I think, you know, come December when I'm looking back on the year, this will be 
um, neat to look back on because it's definitely going to paint the picture of what we've been what we've been going through and what started you know here in February and then we're moving on into March so my question for you which I would just love to know is do you record the news in your planner and if so where do you put it in your planner or, or what are things in the news that you like to record and have you been recording um, different things in the news that have been going on with the coronavirus but you know what with all this said it is a great day you betcha.